Well, now for some politics. Leading up to the next year's midterm elections, Democrats are promising or have been promising all year that despite the problems with Obamacare, they will campaign to, to defend and keep it. Republicans welcoming that move, seeing it as an advantage for their side. But now we're learning Democrats may be opting for a change in strategy after all. Our chief political correspondent, Carl Cameron, is live in Washington with more on this. So, Carl, Democrats have been promising they're going to defend this. They're going to say buy it. They're going to keep it. Has that changed? Well, it looks like it may. And that's why this testimony from the Health and Human Services Secretary, Kathleen Sebelius, today is so important. She is now making statements about the future of the Affordable Care Act that are the beginning of the upcoming election year. This is the last time we're going to hear a status report like this before the calendar turns and will officially be in 2014. So this testimony is tremendously important. And the questions that are being asked and the concerns about how the rollout ends and how the program is supposed to be further implemented with all these delays is giving both parties an awful lot of concern, Republicans' ammunition. And Democrats who said, yep, we're going to defend and campaign for Obamacare in 2014 are aggressively now have to deal with this message coming from the chairman of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, what's called the DCCC, Steve Israel, a congressman from New York, who definitely raises questions and suggests flat out that they're not going to run a national campaign. They're going to do this at the local level. Watch. Our candidates are not running uh, based on the national, whatever national tides there are. They're running as local problem solvers. We're going to build an economy, help the middle class, uh, and uh, make sure that their districts are well represented in Washington. That is a huge change from things said by the likes of Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the congressman from, woman from Florida, who's also the chairman of the Democratic National Committee, James Clyburn, uh, a ranking senior Democrat in the House, who've all said, yep, we're going to be campaigning for it aggressively. It's worth noting, too, 435 House members, and this time around, maybe as few as only about 35 truly competitive swing districts because of redistricting and gerrymandering. So many of them are safe. It's going to be very hard to topple or take parties out of the seats that are there, no matter who wins the primaries and goes into the general elections, Jenna. And that's it, Carl. If Democrats try to pivot away from Obamacare, what are the Republicans going to do? It's, 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 it'll be impossible for them to escape questions and aggressive politics from the right. Republicans are making it very clear. Here's the uh, Republican congressional campaign, uh, National Republican congressional campaign spokesman talking about what Republicans will make sure is part of the issue agenda coming up in 2014. There's still a lot of parts of Obamacare that are going to be implemented and including Medicare Advantage cuts that we're going to see in the new year. So there's going to be a lot of consequences of this. People are just seeing the beginning and they're going to have to answer for this between now and Election Day 2014. And that really states two things. One, that Republicans are going to sink their teeth into this and keep it. And two, that there's a whole series of cascading events across the calendar that will be related to Obamacare, which will again frustrate American voters. Jenna? More to come. Carl, thank you.